The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, has finally submitted its long-awaited recommendation to Congress, and it's to consolidate and move the Waterloo Air Traffic Control Tower to the Des Moines International Airport. KWWL reporter Vinny Lowry talking with the Waterloo Airport Director today, and Vinny is here right now to talk about the future of the Waterloo Control Tower. Vinny. The recommendation to Congress came after a consolidation report. The report showed that there would be a $1.6 million positive return on investment after realigning the Waterloo Control Tower to Des Moines. But Waterloo Keith Kaspari says for him, this is all about keeping tower operators in the Cedar Valley. Waterloo Airport is one of five in the nation recommended to realign their control tower to larger airports. The realignment sits at a $7.2 million price tag. Director Kaspari says this legislation could pass through Congress if there's no discussion on the matter. If Congress decided not to take this up for discussion purposes, then the legislation automatically passes by uh, approving of the final consolidation and list of airports throughout the U.S. Waterloo and Des Moines share the airspace from the Northeast. In the report, consolidating would allow more efficiencies of arrivals to Des Moines without the Waterloo Tower. A total of six air traffic control operators would be relocated to the Des Moines area. This is probably just another example of how uh, uh, agencies in the federal government are trying to do more with technology than less than having physical personnel. Waterloo will keep their air traffic control tower open if consolidation is in order. Kaspari says this is not a sign of the airport closing. It's just unfortunate that the person providing those services is no longer in Waterloo's tower and is operating and providing those services from the tower in Des Moines. The city of Waterloo is asking the public to contact their local representatives on the matter and to oppose the realignment to Des Moines. Director Kaspari says Congress's decision will come early in the new year. Live in the newsroom, Vinny Lowry, News 7, KWWL. Yeah, Vinny, hey, thanks for the update here tonight. If you would, by the way, like to see the full press release, which was released by the city of Waterloo earlier this week about that FAA recommendation, it's available right now in its entirety on our website, kwwl.com.